Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to do the weekly review on the five minute chart for the Kraken DR IDR using ICT concepts. This is the model that I use to trade between 11 a.m. and 1.30 p.m. Eastern time in between the two silver bullet hours. So I've kind of made this model, I'm kind of calling it the Kraken DR model. So I'm going to have my rules here. I'm going to go through them really quick and they will always be on the moving forward, the weekly reviews. So we'll be going through these and see if any of them change. This is version 1.1. I have several people help, helping backtest this and we're editing this as we go. So through a backtesting, I've added some rules onto this. So let's go through them real quick. You do not trade until after high impact news events, NFP, CPI, FOMC. So after this Friday, the first, we would have traded after NFP and we do take a trade. Only take trades between 11 a.m. and 1.30 p.m. DR direction confirmed by 12:30. So we need a candle close to confirm the DR direction by 12:30. Then we mark out our ICT PDRAs before the 0.5 deviation, order blocks, and for value gaps. The priorities, entry priorities, we would prefer an order block over a fair value gap. So if there's two, I'd prefer to get a trade off the order block versus the fair value gap. If there's just fair value gaps, I'm trading off the fair value gaps. So that's how you decide which one to trade off of. If two stack PDRAs, your stop loss must be above the top one. Okay, so it has to be above the top one. You must enter a trade before the 0.5 deviations. So let me just show you where that's at. This is the 0.5 deviation. So I gotta have to take a trade up here, not down here. Entry risk one to three plus, maximum five handle stop loss. Okay, so. If you have two stacked PDRAs, that tells you that where you're, you can mark, take five handles and you got to you know where you got to go to have your protected stop. So that kind of dictates where you got to enter at. Move stop loss to break even plus two ticks at five handles and take partials at 60%. Trail stop loss based on ICT concepts, order block, swing high, lows to let runners run. If three PDRAs fail, move stop to break even plus two ticks or no trade. If no partials taken by 1.30 p.m., close the trade. First, If first trade loses, second trade must be off order block and inside the DR range. Max two losses in any session. Okay, so let me just put this off to the side here. And let's throw up all our markings here. This is Monday, August 28th. So we have DR confirmed here. I can't trade until the the white area right here. We see that we have an order block right here. We take our trade in the order block, but we can't do off, we have to be in, can't take our trade unless we're in less than the 0.5 deviation. This is the 0.5 deviation, this blue line right here. So that's where I entered at. That's why I didn't enter here. I had to wait because I have, have to be in the 0.5 deviation. Stop goes above the order block, one tick, so I'm at three handles, not the max five. And then we get aim for one to three. Here's nine handles. We get nine handles. Could have gotten, you know, 9.1 or two, whatever. But we got nine handles right there, okay? That's Monday's trade. Now, trade does come back up here, and you could have taken this fair value gap up here, this entry right here, but I already took one and I already won, so I didn't. This one, you probably actually would have been stopped out. If, if I didn't take this trade and this trade came up, I would have entered here, probably middle of middle of this right here, and my stop would have been five handles. Five handles would have put me somewhere in here. Probably would have lost it. Let's just mark it on the chart here just to show you. Probably would have gone here, five handles. I would have would have taken a loss right there. I would have immediately re-entered the trade. After this closed down here and this one wicked and, and closed, I'm entering a trade again. This already did the damage. So I know it's not coming back down and I'm aiming for down here. So I, I'm taking a winner. I'm making up for that loss here, but I already traded one. So I didn't trade that. So that's how you could have traded that, but I didn't have to. So there's nine handles there on Monday. On Tuesday, same rules. We get a, a DR confirmation to the long to go long. Here's our five minute fair value gap. There's a second fair value gap here but there, it's not stacked. I'm stacked, I'm talking one right on top of the other. I know it can trade in here, and I'd, that'd be, I take a loss and I re-enter, okay? 
But here, I couldn't enter on these two wicks when they went in the fair value gap because it's not at 11 o'clock. So I waited till 11 o'clock, and as soon as price opened and wicked down, I, that's where I took my trade. Five handle stop, aim for one to three, there's 15 handles. Now, this is why a runner is important and why I'm still working on what how I want to change the rules to modify for the runners because look, this is just all bullish candles, right? We never get a retracement at all. So if you wanted, if you, and ideally you want to go to at least the one standard deviation and look at that, it, instead of 15 handles, there's 35. Okay, so maybe changing my rules over the next week to say, hey, target is one minimum one standard deviation take your partials, trail your stop up. Cause like this would be, this right here would be an order block right here. Here's a swing low. You could have put your stop right here and trailed it. Still would have been fine. Could have trailed your stop here, would have been fine. Stop here would have been fine. And you just kept riding it all the way up. to the one standard deviation. So we got another 15 handles here from one to three based on our current rules, which again, I may be modifying. On this, on Wednesday, there's no trade set up. We don't have any directions not confirmed either way. We don't get a candle close above the um, DR line, so we don't we don't get a confirmation. So there's no trade set up on Wednesday. On Thursday, we have a close to the tie side, but then we have bearish P rays being respected. So you have an uh, an order block here that's being respected right here, right? Then you have a fair value gap, a bearish fair value gap being respected. You have another order block being respected. You have a volume imbalance being respected. So we're not, that's more than three, that's four PDRAs being respected and that are opposing PDRAs. So there's no trade setup. we're done. We're, we're not taking a trade. We never have an entry to go, to go long here. And it's a false day here, it, it confirms that it's a false day. So, no trade day on Thursday. Okay, so we start marking the opposing PDRAs and see if they're being respected. And if three of them are, if three in this scenario we're going bullish. If three bullish PDRAs are violated, it's it's no trade. If three opposing PDRAs are respected, then no trade. So I need to kind of add that to the rule and and, ver and clarify that. But these are these are four bearish PDRAs that were in, in fact respected. So no trade on Thursday. On Friday, on Friday, it is NFP, right? So we have to trade wait till after NFP is done, and we do obviously. And so what happens here? We get a close confirmation to the to go short. We have a fair value gap. We have another fair value gap. We can only go max five handles, so it goes in the middle of the fair value gap. We enter on the first fair value gap, aim for one to three, we get 15 handles right there. So we're at 15 handles additional on Friday. That makes it a total of 39 handles. We had two 15 handle days and a nine handle day on Monday, and then two days with no trading. So Kraken DR for this week, 39 handles.